Hi, my name is Delia Ignacio. Today, we will be discussing cleaning tips and precautions in the context of COVID-19. We will talk about infection prevention and control in general, and also the special consideration when you are living with someone undergoing home quarantine. The reported illness ranges from mild cases to severe illness and death for confirmed coronavirus disease 2019 or COVID-19 cases. The symptoms may appear 2 to 14 days after exposure. Symptoms include fever, cough, and shortness, shortness of breath. The best way to prevent illness is to avoid being exposed to this virus. This virus is spread mainly from person to person, which means between people who are in close contact with one another and through respiratory droplets produced when infected person coughs or sneezes. Their droplets can then land in the mouths or nose of people who are nearby or possibly be inhaled into the lungs. Some general advice for COVID-19 from World Health Organization and Center for Health Protection. Hong Kong for the general community includes. First, you should avoid close contacts with people suffering from acute respiratory infections, which means the symptoms include Coughing, sneezing, runny nose, and social distancing is important. In crowded places and while in public transportation, we shall keep distance with other for at least one meter. Second, we recommend hand hygiene. Water and soap are recommended if you have water source nearby and while it's unavailable, you can use alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. After you have been in a public place or after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing, wear a medical mask when you go out in crowded place or with symptoms. Always avoid touching your eyes, nose, mouth, with unwashed hands. When you are doing household work at home, please take cautions to the following. Dilution of bleach, use cold water. Room temperature water is fine. Do not use hot water at this will deactivate the function of the chemicals. Home should be cleaned thoroughly at least once a week within 99 diluted household bleach. Leave for 15 to 30 minutes and then rinse with water. 1 is to 99 ratio is for general use and good enough for household use. 1 is to 49 ratio is for disinfecting vomitus, respiratory secretions, etc. A tip a very concentrated bleach water will be harmful to both yourself, your home, and your children. Please follow the guidelines for general dilution of method. Be careful not cleaning on the metal surface. You can disinfect metallic surface with 70% alcohol. Maintain drainage pipes properly and regularly, but once a week and pour about half liter of water into each drain outlet to ensure environmental hygiene. Wear gloves to protect yourself and always make a good ventilation at home while you clean. For the bathroom and toilet, remember to cover the toilet lid before flushing. The exhaust fan could be turned on when you left the bathroom and close the bathroom door. You, your employers, may be under home quarantine, 
because of coming back from the overseas. Maintain basic good personal hygiene is still the key. And there are some more consideration to be noted. Home confined shall stay in a well ventilated single room if possible. And all others who are not under home quarantine, including other family members and you, shall stay in different room if possible. Keep at least one meter distance from another person. Do not share towels or personal items using serving chopsticks, spoons at meals time, and do not share lunch boxes and drinks. Do not give leftovers food with everyone else, including your workers. We suggest to separate the food and divide the mailboxes before meal time. The waste shall be disposed in rubbish bin and with well tied up. If you are helping to dispose the waste, remember to wash your hands thoroughly afterwards. While you are performing routine duties, we recommend you to wear mask and you can wear extra apron to give you extra protection. Remember, as mask is only one of use, you shall not reuse it for more than one day. As for apron, it can help to protect your clothes in case you can change a set of clothes every time after cleaning. For plastic one, you can use one is to 99 bleach to disinfect or like normal laundry procedure. You can also use plastic disposable one. When you are handling laundry, you can wear gloves while handling dirty clothes and hand hygiene is always important. Open communication between employers and workers are very important for duties assignment. Each party shall be informed if there's any risk for example, when shall I clean the cars? For this, you may follow general advice. And employers shall also inform the workers if they had driven any suspected or confirmed cases so as to discuss a cleaning plan to protect the workers and family. Everyone shall take part in fighting against COVID-19. Everyone shall follow well personal and environmental hygiene. Share your concern and worry. Understand the risk and capacity. During pandemic time, it is normal to get overwhelmed. People will develop negative feelings, for example, fear and panic, while there are many unknown factors. We shall always stay calm when fear dials up in time of crisis. Be alert but not panic. Respond in a wise way and following guidelines and not overreact. Employers shall respect that workers are trying their best to protect themselves and your families' safety from getting infected. Social distancing is really important. Everyone shall try their best to do it. It is important for employers to discuss and come up with a safe and feasible plan. Share the information, updated guidelines, and local news with your workers. We are all in this together.